in, we in, we in. So we're out here in North Hollywood and I'm trying to figure out the difference between Hollywood and North Hollywood. So we're gonna ask Dave, what's up? Hollywood is flashy, flashy. Whereas opposed to North Hollywood is more like the bones and structure to Hollywood. Like out here you see the dance studios, you see the acting studios, you see like the place where people were trained for Hollywood. Like it's just like, it's essential to each other, but it's not as flashy. Ah, gotcha. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's not whoa, whoa, every day, whoa, whoa, whoa. you know what, what, is what I'm saying? This? What it's is a this, cheesy bro? wheezy, bro. Bacon wrap hot dog with two mozzarella sticks, uh, chopped uh, onion rings. Hello. Dude, I spell El Pio Loco. Is there a reason? It's right behind you. Right on the other side of the uh, furniture store. Oh. I like Dude, that. Dude, that's like a good nose, man. <laughs> I was like. What up, what up? So we are here at Joe Maxwell's spot where he is building his 911, which he has been for a few months. And Eric's also here, Eric Williams with the golden 911, the golden ticket. So let's go say what's up as they come outside. Hey, what's up with the shirt on too? Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Look at this color. It's kind of hard to tell through the camera, but it is. What's the official name for this color? Mouse gray. Mouse gray. It kind of looks like it has a little bit of green in it. it outside, it's supposed to be has some blue, and then the other places it has green. Yeah, it's a weird color. Yeah. Wow, so you guys are dropping this in today? Well, we were, but we had a little tranny problem with the seal, so we just replaced this. We're just replacing the seal, and then we'll put that all back together. Man. Very sweet. So what do you do with this motor? This is, uh, this is punched out to like a 2.5, so it's still in the class of the racing and the, uh, I, I forgot what it has, but it, <laughs> it moves pretty good. The car's pretty light now, too. It's like 2,000 2, pounds. Wow. So, uh, but Tyson Schmidt is building a 2.7 for me. Yeah, that's going to be the hot gonna be nuts. Where's that one going to go? That's going to go in here. Oh, this later. It's going to be a coffee table. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, because this is a numbers matching and I kind of wanted to, didn't want to blow it up. Got it. So he's just going to build something wicked. Nice. He built uh, Jack Olsen's car. Oh, yeah. wow. That's super legit. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, we just got the fuel lines done. I got the undercoating done. I'm, Look at uh, that. I'm using titanium bolts where I can from the ass up. Pretty much everything will be titanium. And, um, wow. That looks so good. Are you happy with it? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty exciting. I just I keep buying everything new. I can't put anything old up down. Yeah, exactly. It, so it's just, While you're in there, right? Check out the, uh, the RS chain up here. This is a uh, one year only chain in the RS cars in 73. And it's got these bitching little mounts from the factory with rivets, the titanium bolt, and Anyway, it's an 85 liter plastic tank. That's crazy that Porsche still makes like it's everything. Just now, this last year, they just made that again. Otherwise, you had to go find one that was oh. like 40 years old. Was there a demand for it? Is that why they started producing it? Uh, I guess because everything oh, yeah. is all, all the uh, restorations are the real RSs and stuff, and these don't last and crack. Uh. So, if you restore a real RS, you need the plastic tank. Right. Wow. Got rid of a lot of the weight. Like, there's a big motor that goes here, uh -huh. four pounds of motor. Just put a, a disc on there and stuff like that. Wow. So, all the parts back there are for the rear of the car, and this is what's left for the front of the car. That's kind of how it's separated. Oh, nice. That makes it easy. Yeah. So, you got the horns here and the corner lights. Are these vents up here in the front functional? What, what's They're called horn drills, they're just for the sound. The oh, air, gotcha, right? gotcha. Okay. We keep our traditional hula drill since that we've been on the car. <laughs> this will be a... Should she actually move? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shake that thing. <laughs> this is the speaker grill. That used to be a speaker grill, and I'll just put oh, these nice. two guys on there. Sick. Got Eric's car, of course. Don't need any introduction on this one. Nothing. What's this one right here? This is my 86. This is uh, this is more of a comfortable ride. Sure. Stock? Yep. It's just suspension. I can get the suspension on it, so 
I can keep up with Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Put the wind the doors back together. I draw the door, and then I have uh, oh, the bolts where they go. I love that. Door, yeah, because yeah, I'm good at taking things apart, but not good at putting them back. Yeah. yeah. See this? That helps. Yeah. Are these all new right here? This is what's left with titanium and aluminum. Okay. And then this is kind of what was in the car already. So I just kind of have options. So do you have all the parts you need? Yeah. I think we got everything there. Even the seal that just came in. That little guy. Nice. Were these hard to find? I had to go to the dealer. Okay. Yeah. This little clip also, see how wide that is? Yeah. So I needed a clip and that seal. Oh wow. Oh look at this right here, the shifter. This what is this it's one? A wrench shift. Eric talked me into that one. Best thing I ever did. Nice. It's so smooth and it's preset and it's just really, uh, and it's two inches higher, so it's a little easier. You don't fit, you don't have to leave. Right, right, right. Let me go with this little goth emblem on front. Nice. Yeah, that looks good. Sweet. What about these handles? Those are like lightweight 68 race car handles that James Gamet gave me. No locks, but you know, no car. Exactly. Sweet. Those are gonna be body matched or black Not or really just faded. Okay, you just as, like as just as like as that. Yeah. Just faded. Okay. Um, Dave and Ish. So yeah, they do a lot of media stuff. So um, when I sent him the address, he was like, "Dude, that's like five minutes from my shop." spray the interior with anything special? No, it's just kind of like what they call it hot rod paint. It's, okay. a, little, it's a little shinier than I wanted, but it's, uh, it's a good paint. It's sealed up nicely and I, I dashed in more of a flat color, but this will all be covered with carpet. What interior color are you going with? I like a charcoal gray. Okay. Oh, you said you took pictures to reference? Yeah, otherwise I'd never get this thing back together. Yeah. But yeah, so there's just, um, you know, how things went out. The return is smaller, going out is larger. Just something to work with when I get back under there. Right. The whole car, just everything is It's out. so cool though, but you can see how it used to look versus the old versus new. Oh yeah. That's such a... Yeah, you could drop a piece of cheese on any part of that and be totally fine eating it. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. It looks so amazing. Wow, look at that. Yeah, it was nasty. That was a different tank. And that would get yeah, go one more. I think there might be a, a video of the, of the stuff in it. Let me see. When I, when I first uh, got the tank done, there was uh, this here. When I first got the car, I moved the tank around. I saw all that shit in it. Oh, there. man. What is that? Is that paint? That's like, yeah, it must be like inner, inner lining. So I had a boil. And all that, but then later I ended up going with the, the plastic you know, tank. Yeah. Transmission cone, and uh, we had a we had a um, a little this little guy came off, which pushed the little gear, the speedometer gear. The car goes forward, it keeps that momentum forward. But if I went backwards a long ways, that could have popped out. Mm. And if it popped out, it would have been floating with. Those guys there. Oh wow! That could have been bad. So like just that little thing. Just that little thing. <laughs> we had to get a seal and this little clip. See how how the old clip is wide and the new clip is narrow. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, wow. we just put that back together and it should be good to go. That's insane. Details, folks. It's clips that you can't get a hold on the back of the ventilation. Uh huh. And there's these little clips, and no matter what you do, they slip off and they fly. So I just got a $4 at Harbor Freight and I took a, a Dremel and I opened up the sides in there and now that connects with the spring clip. When I squeeze it, it stays in <laughs> and then I can take it out. And you can't get to it. It's unbelievable. How <laughs> it's behind everything and you have to feel it. Wow. You can't see it. So anyway. Just that one tool that for that one thing. That, that kind of stuff is a lifesaver. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. yeah, it turns into a four hour excruciating. Okay. So. <laughs> The clip flies, and now you call Pelican and you call 
the Sierra Madre and nobody has them. Ah. They don't make them. They got a big one and they got a teeny one. <laughs> Never the right size. Oh my god. This is an aluminum deck lid. So yes, yeah, aluminum deck lid. So this, um, oh, the, the regular deck, deck lid is, uh, you know, like 20 pounds. And right. this one's four and a half pounds. Oh, what a difference. Yeah. Uh, there's some aluminum in here. There it is. Oh, nice. Yeah. And, um, can I feel that? Yeah. Oh, wow. That feels so light. That makes such a big difference. You can't, you can't barely breathe on it without a denting. It's, it's, you have to really be careful. The other thing that we did was, it's not here right now, but Tito at Esposito's, he took a C2 tail and he cut it down to fit in here. And okay. Then he, and he gave me a four inch, where does it go? Right here, a four inch tail, a four, four fingered tail. So it'll be oh, like nice. a, it'll be like a mini duck, but it was cool because they took it off the seat too. You know what I mean? Hot saw the the traditional duck is eight inches. I don't know how how well, we can look at er Eric's. Okay, yeah, yeah that's it's right. Pretty big. Okay. So this is just a little guy. Yeah, I've seen somebody in Hawaii sent me like his little one that he made out of foam and stuff, and I think it's about a four, and it looks really good. Yeah, I, I think the singer has a, a, a nub, a four inch. Right. So it's going to be the same kind of feel. Nice. But. Um, Unfortunately, it weighs almost as much as the deck lid. Oh. You know, it's like three and a half pounds, and that's just under five. So. Wow! What's uh, it made out of? Liquid fiberglass. So it comes in these Why is bottles. it so heavy? I don't know. But it's hmm. three and a half pounds. It's really kind of. It's a bummer. I couldn't have done it in aluminum or something, bitching. But patterned vertically okay. instead of horizontally. Gotcha. And uh, so anyway, I bought a piece of this, and that's touching the carburetor. But I'm going to go with a different, different uh, carburetor. But anyway, so that makes it a little lighter. These are all original? This here is parts I bought for the new motor. So I just, I got it off Pelican and... Uh, so these are new? Or, or I used? Know, these are used. Okay, these are gotcha. So all this is going to be parts, but everything in here is brand new. And that's why we bought it, because there's a lot of stuff we need for the next motor. The gotcha. case is still being worked, machined at all these. So it won't be this case, but all the internal stuff Tyson's going to use. Tranny, Tranny's getting rebuilt? It's already been rebuilt. Okay. So that feels pretty good, especially with that wrench shift. It just shifts nice and smooth. This is mouse grade, uh -huh. and my license is going to be 73 mouse and a US um, mouse going into this hole. Oh, that'll be cool. And we're going to try to do some shadows like this, like a little mouse. mouse hole. <laughs> That's like hilarious. So say it backwards, so do you know what kind of design mouse you're going to do? Yeah, I think I'm going to do Speedy Gonzales. Okay. Because I, I found a picture of him. So he's going to be running into the hole. That's hilarious. It's kind of fun. Let me see. Oh. Oh, that's snug. Well, Eric's, Eric's skinnier than me, so I think it's probably. They work well for me. <laughs> it's super tight in here, but that feels perfect for cornery. Look at this radio. That's such a throwback. That really makes it feel like you're sitting in something old school. Yeah, but see, uh, what's up? Get a picture. So he used the, the, the pattern from the uh, emblem on the front and uh, he had scrap aluminum and he built it from scratch. So was that a buddy or something you said? Or yeah, a guy I work with. Okay, you're... That works for me. So the guy that works for you took the Porsche emblem, the basically took the outline. As an outline, yeah. And then made it out of aluminum. This was all like in his junkyard of, of scrap aluminum and he welds is so beautiful. Wow, look at that. And made the bung and everything. And then basically took an OE gasket yeah. that fits perfectly. Fits perfect on the back, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah back. There you go. Side, it's close. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. Oh yeah, that is awesome. That's so crazy. So that is why we went off the S bumper and we brought it up here. So these lights actually are out front rather than up here. Okay, so, there we go. so Eric's is how normal traditional right here. Okay. They make a grill and everything. So yours would be down here? Yeah. 
this isn't an S bumper, so something like it, but it would be it would be mounted like that. Mm. So it's not great for parallel parking. Yeah. If, yeah. Uh, if you park by braille, but it's not over. <laughs> I think for 45, 42 megapixels, I just have to crop in. <laughs> Everything looks good. We're just gonna kill the lights and then we're gonna go for a five second exposure. Okay, cool. Let me know when you're ready. Nice. For man, man hand size. <laughs> a little big for Asian boy hands. <laughs> There's chicken and waffles here, so. <laughs> that's, the, that's the Big Mac? You need sparkles. Is, is that salsa? Is there any egg in there? No, it's like special sauce. No, it's a bun. It looks like salsa. That's a bun? It's yeah. like a fancy oh, Big Mac. It's just a really fun interesting. Thing. What's that fry again? This is pretty sad because this was a potato not long ago. <laughs> you can tell. And now it's fried up in my life. Is it a wrap? It's a wrap. That potato died for us. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys bright and early. Yes, sir. See you tomorrow. Cool, cool. Yes. See you in the morning. I'll, 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 I'll yeah, you, uh, Joe.